Querida familia de Génesis, bienvenidos, los saludo en el precioso y maravilloso nombre de nuestro Señor y Salvador, Jesucristo. Welcome, dear Genesis family. Please join me in prayer. Adoremos a Dios en oración. Padre bendito, te alabamos, te adoramos, te glorificamos, te exaltamos. Venimos a regocijarnos en ti, Señor. Heavenly Father, we have come to worship you, to listen to you, to pray to you, Lord. We pray that you will bless our worship. May it be pleasing unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Esta mañana vamos a leer la palabra de Dios. Vamos a leer y a escuchar la palabra de Dios en Mateo capítulo 11, versículos 25 al 30. Y dice así la palabra de Dios, Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in your sight. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no, one's, no one knows the Son except the Father. Nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and the one to whom the Son wills to reveal Him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden Is light. En aquel tiempo, respondiendo Jesús dijo, Te alabo, Padre Señor del cielo y de la tierra, porque escondiste estas cosas de los sabios y de los entendidos, y las revelaste a los niños. Sí, Padre, porque así te agradó. Todas las cosas me fueron entregadas por mi Padre, y nadie conoce al Hijo sino el Padre. Ni nadie conoce al Padre sino el Hijo y aquel a quien el Hijo se lo quiere revelar. Venid a mí todos los que estéis trabajados y cargados y yo os haré descansar. Llevad mi yugo sobre vosotros y aprended de mí que soy manso y humilde de corazón. Y hallaréis descanso para vuestras almas, porque mi yugo es fácil y ligera mi carga. Esta es la palabra de Dios. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Oremos. Bendito Dios y Padre eterno, te damos gracias por tu palabra. Te rogamos, Señor, que obres en nuestras vidas de acuerdo a tu voluntad al escucharla leída y predicada. May your precious Holy Spirit work in our hearts and minds and bodies, Lord, as we listen to your word read and proclaimed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amén. El título del sermón en este día es El mundo necesita descanso. The world needs rest. The world needs rest. The world needs peace. But oh, where shall we find that rest and that peace? ¿Qué escuchan y oyen nuestros jóvenes, nuestros adolescentes, nuestros niños, en la escuela, de sus amistades, en la televisión, en la internet? ¿Qué escuchan acerca de Cristo, acerca de la Biblia, acerca de las enseñanzas de la Biblia? In today's society, where are young people learning about God? And what are they learning about Him? Doesn't it seem that nowadays everybody has their own version of God? Pero Dios se da a conocer solo a través de la Biblia. The Bible, the 66 books of the Old and New Testament, is the only authority, the only source that God has given us in order to know Him. Solo a través de la Biblia podemos conocer a Dios y su plan de salvación. Su plan de salvación en Cristo Jesús. 
However, even though God has given the Bible to all of humanity, its content is not revealed to all. Todos pueden leer la Biblia, pero Dios revela su contenido solo a quien Él ha deseado. Since before the foundation of the world, God has chosen those to whom He will reveal His mind, His mind and will. Specifically, He has chosen those to whom He will make Christ known. En su soberana sabiduría y su soberano amor, antes de la fundación del mundo, Dios escogió a los que han de ser suyos a través de la fe en Cristo Jesús. Not only has He chosen those that are to belong to Christ, but God has also chosen the means through which He will reveal Christ to them. Cuando Dios nos trae a Cristo, somos como bebitos, como recién nacidos. All those that have been appointed unto life before the foundation of the world will and must come to Christ as if we were little children, babies, newly born. This means that to know Christ, we must be born again. Not physically, but spiritually, born of God, not of the flesh. We must be spiritually newborns. ¿Cómo nos hace Dios nacer de nuevo? ¿Cómo experimentamos esta regeneración? Es el Espíritu de Dios quien nos hace nacer de nuevo. Al escuchar la palabra de Dios leída y predicada, déjenme decirles otra vez. Es el Espíritu de Dios quien nos hace nacer de nuevo al escuchar la Palabra de Dios leída y predicada. It is the Holy Spirit, through the Word of God read and proclaimed, that grants us to be born of God, to be born again, regeneration. En el proceso de nuestra salvación, la Palabra de Dios es esencial. It is through reading, studying, meditating upon, and listening to the Word of God read and proclaimed that the Spirit of God grants, us a, new, grants a new birth to those whom God chose before the foundation of the world. Those whom God chose before the foundation of the world through Jesus Christ will come to Christ, will be born again as they listen to the Word of God read and proclaimed. El Espíritu Santo, a través de la Palabra de Dios, nos hace nacer de nuevo. Nos trae al arrepentimiento, nos da fe en Cristo. Nos trae a Cristo, nos revela a Cristo. Y Cristo nos revela al Padre. The Holy Spirit brings us to Christ. And Christ reveals God the Father to us. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. The mind of God revealed in Scripture is revealed only to those that are in Christ. Listen carefully. The mind of God revealed in Scripture is revealed only to those that are in Christ. However, the Bible is nonsense to all those that are not in Christ. The Gospel is craziness to those that are not born of God. El Evangelio, la Palabra de Dios, es locura para todos aquellos que no pertenecen a Cristo. Not that we that belong to Christ understand everything in the Bible. Diligent studying is required. But that which is necessary for our salvation and for our basic edification is revealed and made plain to all those that God has chosen to be Christ's since before the foundation of the world. As we read and listen to the Word of God, the Holy Spirit convicts us from the guilt of our sin, and we realize that we are miserable sinners in need of Jesus Christ's mercy and forgiveness. 
el pecado tiene consecuencias sobre toda la humanidad, sobre toda la creación. Por el pecado vienen enfermedades, por el pecado vienen terremotos, huracanes, guerras, familias quebrantadas. The weight of sin brings us down. The guilt of it overwhelms us. The consequence of sin upon creation causes us suffering, anguish, stress, anxiety, fear. Those that do not yet know Christ are in need of salvation, of His salvation. And those of us that are already in Christ are in, his con in constant need of His comfort, His strength, His healing, His presence. We all go through moments of despair, grief, sadness, financial need, loneliness. The good news is that Jesus says to all, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. My beloved family, our young people, our teenagers, our children, are in need of this rest, which can only be found in Jesus Christ. Our children, our young people, get bombarded with worldly and anti-Christian teachings everywhere, all the time. We need to teach them God's Word. How can they receive Christ, or how can they grow in Christ, if we do not teach them the Word of God? God has appointed to bring His people to Christ through the work of the Holy Spirit as the Word of God is read and proclaimed. Jesús dijo, Dejad a los niños venir a mí y no se los impidáis. Dejemos que los niños, que los jóvenes, nuestros niños y nuestros jóvenes vengan y se acerquen y crezcan en Cristo al enseñarles la Palabra de Dios. Let us teach our children the Word of God so that they may find the rest and peace which Christ offers. Amen. Despidámonos, hermanos y hermanas, con la bendición. Let us be dismissed. May the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion, power, and protection of His Holy Spirit be upon you and all your loved ones. Que el amor de Dios, la gracia de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, la comunión, poder y protección de su Espíritu Santo estén sobre todos ustedes, sobre sus hijos, sobre sus nietos, sus bisnietos y todas nuestras futuras generaciones, hoy y siempre. Amén. God is with you, God loves you, and so do I. Nos vemos. Que Dios les bendiga.